Reduced redundancy storage is a legacy storage class to store non-critical reproducible data at lower levels of redundancy than Amazon S3 storage. So this was introduced back in 2010, and at the time it was cheaper than standard storage for that reduction in uh, redundancy, which means that you know if, if uh, uh, there was an issue, you could end up losing your data. So that's why they say storing non-critical data. However, since 2018, something has changed within uh, AWS's infrastructure where S3 standard is now cheaper than using RRS. And I think that uh, people thought that they had some kind of similar uh, infrastructure or architectures, but when this happened, clearly RRS was architected a completely different way uh, than S3. And it doesn't seem like it's ever going to um, become cheaper uh, and so basically it's not really recommended to use RRS and it has no fit in any of the modern storage use cases because it's never going to be cheaper. Now it's still available in the actual AWS console because some legacy customers probably still have objects stored in there and it's really hard for AWS to um, get rid of features, but you're not supposed to use RRS. I don't think the exams will focus on it, but just in case you ever hear the term RRS, you know what I'm talking about. You understand that it is a legacy storage class, okay?